All right, guys, welcome back. Toujours pure. Revelio. Could also be up in the headmaster's room. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Oh. We're in the headmaster's room. Sorting hat. Sorting hat. This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means by which students would be placed into one of our four schoolhouses skilled at legit legitimacy. The sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Dear Phineas, the children have been asking about your return. Belvina, in particular, chooses to do so each day at breakfast and is engulfed in a sulk when I remind her that you are ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phineas rarely send me an owl, although when they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you're doing for Hogwarts. Having one's father as headmaster is a tremendous honor. Merlin, help me. Cygnus is now crawling and follows Arcturus about like an unwelcome shadow. Arcturus is begging for an invisibility potion and frankly, I can't believe him. I'd be tempted to brew it brew one if it weren't for the eternal sniveling that um Cygnus would wrinkle me with perhaps we shall see you during the next school holiday but please don't feel any obligation we can manage Ursula Revelio. Underneath. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Rebellion. Recipe hair tonic, mustache wax, ladinium pomade, comb, pearl handle, back scratcher, gold handle, dockside. Paid in very small part paid in very small part remainder to be billed to the ministry. That must be the pedestal. Oh. Professor Fitzgerald. Wow. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. We're like scribbles in a book. Move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter. Oh wow, this to is me. beautiful. The first you will need is a cloak.
You about to tell me the Deathly Hollows? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. This is the Deathly Hollows. This is awesome. Went too early. It's a nice change of pace from the other two trials, because those other two were just so similar. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. I need to time this just right. straight ahead Death. Be able to find me if I go up there. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
now's my chance. That's the way forward. Awesome. What's next? The ring? Right? They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide wield the wand you see before you that's the elder wand wonder its extraordinary power did she own the elder one ain't no way this is i guess because we're in the storybook i get the elder wand Gave me specific spells. Revelio. I said ring, I meant resurrection stone.
Oh, that bastard chasing me. Bro. Let me free. Damn. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I summoned two trolls for a sec. They comboed their shit out of me. What is this? Honestly, Bombarda should fucking stun a troll. This is ridiculous. Two trolls and they just keep spawning. Damn. I use Protego bullshit. Protego. 
Defender. Oh my god, dude, what was that? Okay. It's so hard to tell what you're you're aiming at in, in this one. In this uh black and white hard poke thing. Last heal. Defender. Descender. Bro. Defender. Holy shit. No more. I'm out of heals. Yeesh. That was tough ass battle. A lot of it was just like when I was trying to do spells because usually when you're in regular combat, characters are highlighted like with a white outline. And in this case, it, they weren't. Well, I mean, they were, but you can't tell because it's black and white. Resurrection stone. So we've got the all three pieces. We've got the deathly hallows. Or hollows. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it is. She's gone. Dear sweet. Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. Not crazy. They're mourning their dead, and I have the resurrection stone. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. This is dope. Oh, we're at the end of the trial. This is probably my... But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. My favorite trial. Hands down. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. 
Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh yeah, she definitely going evil, bro. I was right about her. This must stop. All of us. She just took the You've kept this pain out of her and ate so it. So long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. All right, the last member I guess we're going to get introduced to here. I'd seen the car's tower countless times. Never Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is. And I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Goblin Silver allows you to harness Nobles, it. That's what she said. you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. All right, bro, you it do you. We have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. That sounds like that must have been fun, too. Hallowed Hero. Wield a Deathly Hollow. That's awesome, bro. We got the experience. The Deathly Hollows. That was hands down my favorite trial. Even though that combat scenario was a little bit frustrating, they were throwing so many enemies at you. 
two trolls at once. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Okay. I guess I was bugged because Professor Weasley didn't say anything. Check our outpost. Where is Professor Weasley? Oh, here she is. Well, oh, please meet me in the seventh war corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on. No, that's not it. Deke tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get the chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring. Is this the last? Oh no, history of magic class. Okay. And what's this? Phoenix Rising. All right. Guess we'll go to history magic class. It's only class, so I doubt we'll have to be doing anything of relevance. Probably meet a new friend in there. Your data on how horrifying Venomous and Tacky are. Why we're forced to engage with them in class is so If you put a foot wrong, it's just well there's a We will cover a truly thrilling. He's a spirit? The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard Bruh. cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmos the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. That's a good way to keep us away. Rebellion. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into. I'm sure the goblin rebellion has to do with why they're not allowed to have wands. Some are talented artists. Still doesn't. It's still weird though. The boastful. That witches and wizards can tell them what to do. Did you say Bragball? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. 
Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the belt. Revelio. All students introduce themselves. This unassuming smudge is rumoured to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. Grimbo Weft, this is Skull Fame, Taylor Grimbo Weft, who's skilled to work repair countless witches and wizards' coats during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbo Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower, is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen eyed students Sir, will spot the this statues is a of a cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Okay, before we continue, uh, I was not expecting this, but this is uh, pretty interesting. Alright, we'll save here and. Uh, this is a good spot to end, so I'll see you guys in the next part.